welcome back friends welcome to talking about about endotoxin okay so what is endotoxin you probably heard this name before okay and you also heard another name that is exotoxin so there is a significant difference between endotoxin and exotoxin completely different things and we'll be talking about the difference in the later videos but in this one i'll talk about what is endotoxin the term endo means inside or something which is attached or present inside and the toxin toxin means anything that is poisonous that is dangerous for our body in this case endotoxin is nothing but the outermost layer for gram negative bacteria okay so from gram negative bacteria outermost layer and outermost layer is also known as the third layer because you know normally what we have we have inner layer the cell membrane then we have the peptidoglycan layer this is the peptidoglycan layer let's say this is this is the peptidoglycan layer for the gram positive bacteria the peptidoglycan layer is very thick for the gram negative it's very thin now in gram gram positive bacteria this is the structural end but for gram negative there is a another thin membrane that is present outside the third membrane this is known as lipopolysaccharide or lps layer lipopolysaccharide this lps layer is known as endotoxin lipopolysaccharide means this is a kind of uh, this this whole thing is a cell membrane so obviously it contains lipid but lipid is attached with polysaccharides that is sugar moieties so the lipid sequence attached with polysaccharides or multiple sugar uh, chains that is altogether known as the lps or endotoxin now this endotoxin so that means it's a part of cell part of bacterial cell so that is is known as endo that's why now this lps if you look at lps very carefully lps has a specific structure and as it's a part of the cell membrane it definitely needs to have an anchorage towards the cell membrane and that anchorage is provided by the lipid part and rest of the thing is made with this polysaccharide chains or polysaccharide layers this polysaccharide layers can act as the toxic materials outside and some of and most of the toxic material is this lipid layer that is present let's talk about them the structure is simple uh, i'm not going to draw the exact structure i'm just going to draw the schematic di diagram of this whole thing and let's say here these are the sugar sugar moiety and here from the sugar we have lipid chains coming out this is known as so let me first draw then i'll talk to you this is another specific region which is known as core the core can be made with multiple structures like that and ultimately at the end we have different sugar moieties something like that it's just arbitrary drawing this is known as o antigen the outermost part is known as o antigen okay outermost part which is facing outside the inner part this is known as core this whole part is known as core but it has two different names this is inner core and this is outer core okay and here this part is known as lipid a okay because this is the lipid section but this is sugar okay i draw lipids in this kink like structure so this is a over overview of the structure of endotoxin and this lipid a is re required for the anchorage properly now you know this so with the help of this lipid a portion this rest of the thing is attached and embedded to the cell membrane 
and rest of the things in are the are in the outside so each of them have a specific function to play here among this three part lipid a is the most toxic material this is the most toxic of all but it is not exposed to outside o antigen is exposed to outside okay and this core material is attaching o antigen with the lipid a okay with the direct contact so here this lipid a is consisting of sugar moiety and the lipid molecules attached to it the sugar moiety is normally glucosamine phosphorylated n glucosamines okay while these o antigens are also nothing but different types of sugar molecules that are available even different types of sugar core is also made mostly with sugar like heptose is an example of sugar that is present in the core so these are so most of the part that are facing outside are made with sugar heptose or modified sugar phosphorylated sugar that are present now this core region though it most of the time contains sugar but also for different strains of bacteria this core can contain different molecule except sugar like it can also have amino acids it can have proteins as a part of the core region okay but o antigen is always sugar molecules and this o antigen is unique to each strain of the bacteria okay so this only this structure can only be seen in gram negative bacteria so for different strains of bacteria this o antigen is different so we can actually see up to 160 different types of o antigens is normally found and isolated for different 160 strains they are different with each other strains okay so if lipid a is exposed in our body our body will vigorously uh, try to or desperately try to uh, get our immune response against it though o antigen and core all of them have the immunogenic response capability but lipid a contains the most uh, of this part and lipid a is most toxic for that so all the other problems that they cause the endotoxin generally cause problems like septic shock okay the shock syndrome that it that they cause most of them is due to this lipid a now the question is this lipid a is embedded inside so how could it come out okay until unless it is exposed to our body we don't have any infection and the answer for that is normally once the bacteria is living lipid a is embedded it's not coming out only this lipid a portion can come outside if the bacteria is dead so if the bacteria gets killed or dead then only lipid a can ex can be exposed to our body and then our body can react so the toxicity of the endotoxin can only be found when the bacteria is dead living bacteria cannot give us any kind of uh, toxicity with the endotoxin okay all these things with the uh, after the bacteria is died okay so this is uh, the idea another thing i must tell you the importance of this lps layer lps layer is important for bacteria why uh, it provides a protective layer outside and also lps carries a lot of negative charge okay so this lot of negative charge of lps layer helps this membrane to be stabilized properly and also this lps layer helps them to cause infection and also the lps layer helps them to detect bacteriophage you know virus bacteriophage <coughs> can infect bacteria so this lps layer can help them to detect and sense whether the bacteriophage is interacting with the cell or not so that is another advantage of lps there is another type of molecule that we can find in some gram negative bacteria that are known as los for very smaller type of bacteria they don't have much complexity like this but smaller molecular weight protein that is los normally this endotoxins uh, are from 100 to 1000 kilo dalton as in their molecular weight very very huge proteins but very small like 10 to 100 kilo dalton there are some endotoxins can be found those endotoxins are known as los or lipo oligosaccharide not lipo polysaccharide lipo oligosaccharide and the examples of lipo oligosaccharide uh, it is found in nizeria nizeria species 
हिमोफिलस स्पीसीज ओके we'll find this nizeria species and hemophilus species you know nizeria is a gram negative cocci very small tiny we find them in this type of gram negative bacteria the lois layer okay the difference is just in the molecular weight rest of the thing is more or less the same so that's uh, kind of about the endotoxin and i hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel the links are provided here on the top as well as in the bottom and if you want to know more about the toxicology part like endotoxin exotoxin and the difference between endotoxin and exotoxin as, as well as the different exotoxin mechanisms stay tuned to my channel there is a whole playlist about it you just you just play one of the videos each videos it will definitely help you to understand thank you